going first? You the champ. Oh, okay, you want to go last? I need a number. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So, since we're all big fans of soccer and we all played, we all played when we were kids. We're gonna see who's the best at dribbling. That was my idea. So, since I'm, I'm not the pro, I'll go first. No practice. This is the first time. Oh. So we do two, two tries. We do two tries. Okay, two tries, and whoever has the, the best. Yeah, okay. They did terrible. They're like two. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna beat these guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, go ahead. Okay, last one. Last one. Just knows that. Okay, you know what? Today I'm gonna push the hell out of Sean, and he's gonna be his best workout. I'm like, you know what? You know, Stan might do a set, and I'm like, okay, well you gonna do a drop set. He does a drop set. He's not like, well, you do a drop set. <laughs> you know? Well, I know you like it. <laughs> yeah, I love my drop set, yeah. but it's not like what it does. But I'm like, well, I'm not doing a drop set. You do a drop set. It's your set. You gotta do a drop set. No, it's like, okay. You just <laughs> We're back <laughs> in Flexotron World, Oxnard, uh, California. The champ is here. <laughs> awesome. It's been a minute. This is your new house. You're gonna show your new house today. Uh oh. <laughs> you like dogs too? I thought you only like crickets. I thought you like crickets. And I thought you like. Lizards. I'll go to TC's going before we get in there. <laughs> and you like dogs. Sit. Tell me. <laughs> we have an understanding, dog. Aww. <laughs> well, we like this. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> we have an understanding. <laughs> I stayed at his house. I had no choice. He sat outside the door every night. Right? <laughs> outside the bedroom door and like go back to all that. I told him my door, he gets to view, you just have sit and he's gonna sit. So that was Sean opening the door like sit, sit. He just was sitting outside the bedroom door like And I just kept going, that's how he said. And then he would just sit up and walk out here. I used to have a pit. Everyone's scared of her too. I'm like, dude, she's a nice dog. 
party. <laughs> yeah, so I just want to write other points to left here. <laughs> We're filming you guys. Hey, look. This is not a picture. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Sean, this is your new house. Introduce, uh, introduce uh, us to your this new friend. This is my house. I'm paying a rent here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the home of BSL Fitness. I've been here pretty much since December. I've known, and, and actually we met at a donut shop in San Diego. Why am I not surprised? About a month after the 2018 <laughs> Olympian, I was doing my second pro. Show. He claimed he was only getting one donut, and I have the pictures to prove it. Yeah. Because he even did a picture going one donut. But actually, I know how many donuts are in the box. It's like a box. <laughs> <laughs> it's that wide. But it's, his, his wife came up and was like, hey, listen, I know um, you go back and forth to Santa, uh, Santa, Santa Barbara. She stood in line for the longest time waiting. I kept talking to people, talking to people, and I kept going. And finally she came over and go, hey, we have a gym, and if you're tour, you should come by and check it out. And so I finally came out here and checked it out, and it wasn't put together yet. I think Josh was still, you know, trying to get the pieces together. I came up with Stan, we looked around, and, you know, it was like, hey, you know, things are very slowly, but, you know, it's moving. Uh, but since December, I've been out here training. Uh, not really training for warranty, <laughs> yeah. But I know the owner, so you know we're coming in like three days a week. And we're doing maintenance workouts, we're doing maintenance workouts, gotcha. like three <laughs> sessions a week. Yeah. That, you know, but it was just you know staying the the line of things, and you know working in our quarantine 15, um, and now I'm pretty much this is where I'm going to be at full time. Yeah. So this is this is why this is where you've been since you left Gold. Man, it's a yes. nice place. Josh, Josh, how long have you had this place open? So we were in Port Wainimi for almost eight years. Okay. And over the years, we had like a free motion line of equipment, but there was little things that we added over the years. We, you know, we got the flex like carrying hack squat, uh, the same leg press. We have an inverted leg press, like a bunch of little like machines we handpicked from like, you know, to make it like the bodybuilding gym as yeah. opposed to like enough to Another do one. well. Like we had yeah. all the little detail stuff in yeah. as well. And you know, to kind of sets apart from other gyms as well. We want to be more of like a nice, clean, like Equinox style, like fit, but like the hardcore old school. I get it. Like the old equipment is really what does the job, you know? Yeah. And yeah. I feel like, and Sean could agree, is that that's really what's going to separate, you know, competitors from the rest. It's like the equipment and then the hard work. You kind of need everything. So that's right. when you have that, like, you know, no one's going to be able to compete with that. You must be pretty proud to have Mr. Olympia training at your place. That's kind of, it's a nice feather in your cap. I'm just <laughs> great, grateful and humbled that he wanted to befriend me, you know, because, uh, I mean, yeah, for I'm me friend to just... friend him and unfriend him, friend him yeah. <laughs> just so that he could notice that I was here. Yeah, I mean, a dream come true, honestly, you know, I mean, every time we train, you know, it's uh, getting more information, little tidbits, hand adjustments, knee positioning, it's just, it's incredible, you know, and... It's good aura. You yeah. know, we like to have him at goals because whenever... He would be there and next to it just as this aura in the gym and it's hard to describe it but it's just it's there when these guys right. are training you know so yeah. it's nice yeah, yeah, yeah it's just, very uh, cool. like i said it's a blessing you know very cool yeah cool all right we're gonna ca we'll check out your gym sean what are we training today chess i think you said we're doing calves and glutes calves um, and glutes all right booty later on and awesome see what happens. <laughs> all right stan make the drive yes just for this all the way from where are you now? Playa Vista. Playa Vista, there you go. There you go. All right, we're yeah, going to we do try, it. We're trying to get him here, you know, trying to get that, that key group of guys that we're friends with and guys that are hardcore trainers, but at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I've always said to surround yourself with a group of people that have the same the same mindset, you know, understand the destiny and, um, and the journey. And, and there's no, nothing like having, you know, I've been training with Stance for three yeah, years right. now. And, Brother. It's nothing like having, yeah, it's a brotherhood. Yeah, it's nothing yeah. like having that core group of guys and, you know, we're all friends and, you know, we get along, so it makes our workout a lot easier because, you know, we're here to teach others, teach each other and, you know, push each other at the same time just to create a better version. Yeah. What better way than, you know, 
some great guys. There you go. Was That's physique. awesome. Went to classic. I know he looks good, man. Look at this. Look how good he looks. And went to open. After quarantine, <laughs> nobody looks like this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think honestly, it's really just a matter of surrounding yourself, like Sean said, with the people that have high standards, you know, and. High standards not only in the gym and bodybuilding, but in life, you know, the way they treat their women, you know, the way that they do business, the way that they treat people, you know, and I think a lot of that transfers over to your workouts, mm -hmm. and if you don't have that in your workouts, I mean, I think these guys can test, like, having a shitty workout partner is, like, the most draining, like, it'll hold you back, and, and it's tough, you know, and, and that's It takes away instead of adding, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's Absolutely. Awesome. Are you, so, to, are you gonna train with them today or? Yeah. Oh yeah? Oh, there you go. I'm gonna pass that out. I know, right? I'm gonna kill on camera, today. on I'm camera. Gonna, All right. I'm just gonna spot these guys today. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't wanna get hurt. I see the kind of weight these guys throw around. And uh, I'm an old man that can't make improvements. So <laughs> since I can't do that, I'm just here to, uh, to teach. Washed out and done. <laughs> yeah. those, that those that can't do teach. Yeah, so yeah. I'm here to teach. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks for having us, Josh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Absolutely.
flying high Floating somewhere up in the clutch We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip, trip Nah, trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid Guys, it's been it's been a while. It's uh, it's nice to uh, be back in the gym and actually filming it. Brought a lot of memories, uh, pre-Olympia and stuff. Man, it was nice. Feels uh, back to normal, somewhat, a little bit. Uh, Sean, I really like your your new your new place, your new gym. It's great here. I, I love it, man. Josh, <laughs> he'll come around. Um, you know, it's I, I love it because it's, it's just a different atmosphere. You know, I originally moved out to LA to train at Goldfield because you know, I was in love with the atmosphere that was created by you know, the LA Grace that was there when I trained at Bill's Gym. And um, I mean, it, it was great for a while. You know, I was I was inspired a lot just to just to be at Gold's Gym and was always thinking about you know when I flip to the magazine and I see Flex Wheeler, the Chris Camir, the Rico Mac Clinton, the Paul Dillard, the Tom Prince. You know, the Dennis James, you know, the Charles Glass, like, and the name just goes on and on and on. You, you fell in love with that because you're like, wow, you know, all these amazing bodybuilders at Gold Show. And you, you want to be caught up, you know, in that ambiance of almost as if you're rubbing elbows with those guys just a few years later. Um, but after a while, to be honest, I just, I don't know, I just, I couldn't. It was at time overwhelming. Um, a lot of it had to do with I hate seeing people suffering. And when I see, you know, you know, all these homeless folks sitting outside, sometimes it just it rips you apart because, like, yeah, I grew up in Jamaica and we don't have large homes. And a lot of people live in small house, but you know, but it was indoors, and then you know. You're walking from Gold's Gym to the firehouse, or you just try to walk into Gold's Gym, and it's like it's just there in front of you, and it's like this is LA. There's so much money here. There's movie stars. There's you know millionaires and millionaires, and you know almost trillionaires. And then you walk by Gold's Gym, and you're like Google's right here, and you're fenced off. Like, I remember us walking to 
fire outs a couple of times and it's like you know try to step over people on the sidewalk and it's like after a while it just it kills you it yeah. kills you because you're like man I'm going to the gym to work at my house side and just people just right here so you know after a while it, it, it took a toll on me and you know I just get caught up in everything else just when I go to the gym the you know I love the place but after a while the energy just changed but let me ask you something. When you, a lot of people, including Stan, obviously, and you know, and Jay, and so many others before you guys, will go to California and Gold's Gym, especially because you want to be inspired, because you want to become great. And I think once you achieve greatness, and obviously, it's fair to say you, if you've increased greatness, and you've achieved greatness already. It doesn't really matter where you train, because that follows you. Yeah. And I know you don't think yourself as someone great because you're very humble and everything, but the, the fact remains that you know once you become a champion, once especially Mr. Olympia, yeah. it, you have that talent. Wherever you go, you bring that aura with you. I think you know. The uh, thing with me, though, I, I grew up my house to last night. I used to do not see this. I know. <laughs> I know you don't. But you are. Yeah. <laughs> I keep having to tell myself, like, yes, dude, like you won. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the bellows, like you know. And, <laughs> I still use that to inspire me, like, hey, listen, you know, it doesn't matter how many titles that you win, you gotta still remember who you are, you still gotta remember where you came from. And, you know, for me, it's, I see guys win one show and they're like, you know, yeah. like, it's funny because like, it, it was just, it was, <laughs> I was just reading a comment somebody posted, like, talking about Sean saying, like, yeah, before he trained with Psycho, he was written off. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he was what? He was being written off. Like, he was, he was done. Like, he was. Really? And I'm like, what are you like, the year before he got second. <laughs> then we trained with Cycle the first year. Then, you know, you had this wire, like, his yeah. wire, so we got fifths. The year after, we won. But, like, prior to that, 2012, he was third. 2013, he was fourth. You get two second place before third. you won, right? No, yeah. one second place, but like three, oh, third, three third place. Third. Oh, okay. Like it's like for almost ten years being a tough not guy, knocking on the door. Yeah, yeah. Bad, but like that's been, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is great to me. I think that every day of the week. Uh, <laughs> but you know, and it's stuff like that. I don't, you know, I never really pay attention to that because at the end of the day, I'm like, you know. No, but that just I, tells I, like yeah, your your. I, I love being a bodybuilder. Right? Yeah, yeah but you're a great bodybuilder. That's the thing. You know, I've always tried to surround myself with, you know, great minded people, you know, that understand again the destiny and the journey and you know at the end of the day would I when one Mr. Olympia or ten Mr. Olympia, I'm still gonna be the same person. You know, I'm still I'm still gonna keep it with my I'm still gonna kick it with my folks because that's that's just me. And being at Gold's Gym, man, you know, it just the atmosphere just changed. Yeah. You know, it wasn't the same, you know. And it wasn't because I went, you know, the atmosphere was just different. It was just different vibes, a different energy at time. And it's like, man, I came out here because I, I craved that, that, that hunger for, you know, everything that was, you know, ghost gym. And then, I don't know, it just changed. So when the opportunity to present itself and, you know, I ended up moving, you know, from, from LA, you know, back in December, I was like, I don't know, I think mentally I, I needed to change. I needed to be, you know, closer to my daughter and, you know, be yeah, that's important. Away and, you yeah. know, you know, try to find just, not just a new home to train, but I just, a new atmosphere and a different energy. And, you know, I told myself if I, if I had to muster up that, that energy every time that I trained, I, I wanted to enjoy training again. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that was a big factor. I want to enjoy going to the gym. And I remember at times, like, you know, getting to goals and I'm just, or getting ready to go to the gym and I'm just like. <sighs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> right. That's not good. All right, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, now I'm just, I'm like, Josh, you know, I know you're close, but uh, you Did should you want to hit on I know, let's, let's talk to Josh for a second because I want to, I want to, he's hearing and all I'm this like, stuff right now. Like, can I go train? <laughs> he's, he's hearing all this stuff right I'm now. And I can't, ima I can't imagine what it feels like to hear uh, Sean talking like that about, about your place because that says a lot about uh, a gym. You know, all the gyms are pretty much the same. In the end, you know, we all have somewhere like the same equipment, different machines, everything. But the ambience and, and the, uh, the atmosphere you create in a location has a lot to do with if people yeah. want to come in there. So you must. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I picked up my first weight when I was 13. Um, right after doing martial arts and it was like I feel like the martial arts is what really laid the discipline and the perseverance for like getting into bodybuilding because yeah. I feel like if you don't have that then you're gonna you know be very let down you know because if you're not willing to put in the time and the effort and um, make this a lifestyle 
you're truly like going to be like, you know, you're going to be let down. So building this place was really about like kind of like a childhood dream, right? Like what would it look like to be in a place that was like old school, but like new vibes. And it kind of is like yeah. turning it into a club, like that vibe of a cool, like fun club, but like training, no alcohol, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, really like that was it. So. You know, getting the old school that we, you know, the stuff that works and those old school, like, you know, the compound movements, the compound workouts, the hard work, and then generating an environment that was going to be conducive to like our goals, right? Yeah. So one of the things that they're talking about, you know, um, Gold's Venice, I think was always like the Mecca, like we're all, you know, the most famous bodybuilders and inspiring, you know, athletes were, and it's kind of changed over time and got more corporate. And I think that's really what's what's lost there, right? Yeah. Um, but also the vibes, right? We were talking about this the other day about like people that you train with that have outside problems in life is completely draining. Like Sean was saying, like if you're around those kind of people, like it's a job to show up and work out, right? Because you're like blowing up these balloons of these people and they have like these issues when their life's not good outside of the gym and it carries over into your, your training, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so if you have a friend or workout partner like that, it's like, it's so draining, mm -hmm. right? I think we've yeah. all had those. So, you know, creating an environment with members and clients where we, you know, we fired members from here. You know, like the other day someone came and they um, got on the phone with my wife and um, hung up on her twice. And little did they know, it was like my wife. <laughs> like, and she's like, no, 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 I'll just pay the day fee. And hung up on her and was like, no, you will not pay the day fee and you're not allowed at a gym. It's a privilege to be here, just like it's a privilege, you know, for you to be a member and client. So I think, you know, corporate gyms aren't going to do that because they're just going to say, you know, just pay and it's fine, you mm -hmm. know? So, you know, we don't want any of that here. And, you know, that's kind of like how we build everything. So, you know, it's the basis of it. I think uh, with everything that's been going on also lately, I think the smaller gym, privately owned like you, are really going to prosper because I think that's what we're going to gravitate, especially. You know, when all those big corporations like LA Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness, EOS, they're going to have so many rules and so many regulations. Right. Who knows if they'll be enforced or not. But I think a lot of people will say, you know what, forget that. I would rather go somewhere where it's more intimate, yeah. where it's more private, where it's more, not that it's a small place, it's not. Yeah. But it's more like a little family, a little, you know, mm -hmm. reminds me of where I started training. It's so. really like what you're saying is like the genuineness, right? So like I always tell our staff, people here, it's like you either care or you don't. And people that aren't even really that sharp will know that if you care or not, right? So like people get it if your intentions are like to, to just get their money and run and yeah. unfortunately these corporate gyms have really clearly shown in the last few months that they don't care about their members they don't care about their their clients and all well, they, they really care about is the they hope they don't come and you keep charging so keep charging them, right? i've heard this from like half a dozen people so far they're continuing to charge their members right now, yeah. and i actually know a friend personally who controls uh the la fitness internet they sell the internet in the area to la fitness 24 hours and they're not paying them, right? So 24 hour fitness isn't paying for their internet, but they're <laughs> charging their members. Uh, so you tell me like which one like in there. So like if you're able to shut off your billing yeah. to pay people, but yet you're still billing members, like yes. tell me how your members come first. Yeah, that's you, not you know, fair. Tell me how you care about the end result. I didn't know and, that. Like, why is it that most of the membership bases of those gyms are still obese? Why are they still unfit? Because they don't really care about the end result, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. They care about them selling. just selling them the membership, yeah, yeah. right? And like I always say, intentions really matter. And if your intent is to like serve a higher power in humanity, like people will come to you, you know, call it God, call it love attraction, call it what you want, but like people get that. And mm -hmm. even here, just opening up our doors, willing to risk a thousand dollar fine a day and myself and my wife to incur jail time, um, potentially more like did yeah, that people, happen to you right when you that's first happening right now as we speak yeah. oh, Jesus. so we're okay. still not maybe someone else yeah we're really still actually if you look people. at the sign over there on the door it's yeah. for a non-essential business oh geez so I mean another level to that is is like you tell me why gyms and churches are the last one on the list to open like if you don't think this whole thing is a somewhat of a backward scandal I know like why would everything else be open except for churches Nick. and gyms which is like the basis of what a good body is. Because your sanity, your sanity goes. That's 100%. why. Yeah. That's and they talk is. about like 
these medications and vaccines when if you just do a lot of what we're doing here, you, you don't can need avoid all these viruses. Yeah, that's right. So it's all it's, it's happening right now. It's like that built up, you know, everybody's just been abused for absolutely. months. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it's just exploding in the worst way. But if yeah. people were able to go to the gym and like work that out, <laughs> everything's better after a good workout. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if you create a safe place for people to get better in a healthy yeah. way, like it's gonna pull people. Because I mean, bodybuilding saved my life more than once, and I think for for these guys, I'm sure it happened at least a couple times for them, you know. And yeah. um, whether it was going down the wrong path or like for me losing my dad, um, you know, and then my mom as well. Like those were all huge parts of my life that. I could have took a wrong turn and I started to, but bodybuilding saved my life again. You know, and I feel like my sacred responsibility and my anointing on earth is to really give that back. And I think Sean's like a perfect example of that and Stan as well, because yeah. it's changed our life so much that we want to be so humbly be able to give that same thing back, you know, for what it did for us. We'll always say same, you know, minded people always find each other. You yeah. know, when you, whatever, whatever kind of person you are, you'll attract the same kind. And it's obvious, it's obvious mm -hmm. for these two and obviously off. Obviously, for you, but Stan, talk to me a little bit about um, what's going on with you because so you've been training uh, with Francisco for a while. H how long have you been able to see Sean over the past few months? Not that much, right? Not much, no. It was even his birthday. Yeah, I mean, you stay in touch, but, yeah, you, yeah. but but you haven't been able to train together as much oh, as train, you used no, to. Like yeah. We trained last week, it's like this two, three times. Like okay. Um, but other than that, no, we haven't trained at all. Okay, so you've been training with Francisco for a while, but there's a lot going on yeah, in your... I mean, I was training by myself. Oh, by yourself also? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, All right. because yeah, I needed, like, first I was training a little bit with Francisco. Yeah. Are you still training the same gym, but like then I just trained with myself. Okay. I needed, like, I need to, I wanted to use the whole time I had. Yeah. Like, not show up an hour late and having only an hour. And I also wanted to, like, you know, do other things during my day. So Is I, it hard not to have your training partner? To, to not train with Sean after yeah, all this we're time. Yeah, talking about that. It's hard. Like, that's so. That's the thing. It's like you want somebody that just that like, gets it. You know, like we train here. Yeah. Like we don't wasting time. He goes, I go. He goes. Yeah. Sometimes we jump turn because there's weight, but like it just goes like this. There's yeah, no yeah. like, hey, where are you? Like, uh, you know, stop talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you stop you, talking. Come you're here. You're here to train. Oh, what are we doing? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's just like it goes, and that yeah. we push each other. We do like we. That's 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 why good training, the good yeah. team, really um, does, and that's 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 so. Key. It's such a good thing to have. I'm asking because today I see you training. The last time I filmed you guys, I can't even remember when it was, but it doesn't seem like you ever skipped a beat. It's like you yeah. get back in that groove like yeah. right away, yeah, and that's yeah, nice yeah. to see, you know? Yeah, because we, we, it's we, like you know. never stopped. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we did this for three years. It's my friend. You know, yeah. you know it's, it's funny because I get DMs all the time, but what happened to Stan? Did you, like, stay? Like, you guys broke up? I just posted a picture of you guys training. Oh, they're back together, and Lori's like, they never broke yeah, up. Sometimes people are like, he message uh, Sean and he, he, he plays with them. It's like, yeah, no, he's doing all kinds of stuff. We don't talk. Yeah, exactly. We're not friends anymore. He's doing all big bodybuilding. But I'm like, and people they can they think it's because it's just stupid. I like just big big time. Like even when we train together, just big time that we're not in the gym together training because I'm like, I'm not there yet. I'm working off the of grass. I'm trying to get the car into neutral before. You, you, you got to know like where you at when it comes time to training. Yeah. I think, a lot of people don't get that. We don't normally train like all year long. There's been time that, you know, Stan is training and I'm, I'm training, you know, when I was in Santa Barbara, I'm training at a different time. Yeah. And then we're like, okay, it's, it's go time. And we start by training together. You know, that doesn't mean that we, you know, we still talk, you know, we talk on a regular basis. But people probably day. like, if they see you not training <laughs> yeah. together in the gym, they're like, oh my God, what happened to Sean? <laughs> what happened to Stan? You guys, you guys broke up or? Well, yeah, that's the thing is like Sean moved back to Oxner, yeah. which is, you know, people don't realize that, but it's like over 60 miles from where I live. It, yeah. It's an hour drive, yeah. 120 miles both ways. So it's like, it's not, it's not like when you was As easy day, as before, yeah. 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 Like 2007. Uh, 2018, uh, 17, yeah, we did the drive with yeah. Chris, Lewis, back then, like every day and stuff, but it's not, it's not like it takes, it was, you know, it was taking a lot of time. Yeah. It's not just like, you know, like we train and like we both do like 50 minutes drive. Yeah. He was driving from Santa Barbara back, back then. And you so meet in the middle, right? like half an hour drive. Yeah. And so here was like kind of the middle. Yeah. We like had an hour, an hour and a half of traffic. Wow. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it, we made it work because we want to, but like it's not, it's not, it was not like convenience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a, that says a lot about your friendship that you were yeah. together because he was just, he was prepping for the Olympia and, you know, Chris yeah. went along and that's, that's yeah. awesome. Well, you guys yeah, did that. it was, it was a, uh, he was coming back from his uh, job, yeah. working and all that stuff, so yeah, it worked. 
Well, I'm really glad you found a new place that you're comfortable with, that you feel like training again, that you feel um, inspired. And um, and I like I said, I think I think at this point, you know, you you bring that aura with you. And and Josh, you're lucky to have him in this place. I'm sure he appreciates we were being here. Part of the first people to come visit this before. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was toward here, like all the was like one yeah, room. Was was like yeah. yeah. And I was thinking myself. They come back. <laughs> 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 head, like, I got this vision. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um, uh, Josh, give the address real quick. We'll put it in the video. But what's the address? It's at 4580 Market Street here in Ventura, California. 93003. Awesome. So we'll put the Instagram. What's we're the Instagram? Block, we're a block off the, the 101 freeway. So yeah, very easy to find. Yeah. And it's just BSF Fitness Center on right. Instagram. And that's where our main. Our phones actually turn off right now because we're getting so many phone that's calls. That's okay. Everybody goes on Instagram. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's fine. So just BSF in the center. Awesome. Stan, thanks for making the drive, man. Oh, we're going to go back home. We're going to eat. Sean, you're hungry? Yes, we're going to go to In-N-Out. And, uh, we are? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you sound like Jay. I wanted to go to Chick-fil-A, but they closed on Sunday. Oh, that's right. That's so right. It's a bummer. So I'm going uh, to go back home. home and eat some beautiful food. All right. Awesome. Burgers and fries. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. <laughs> I'm impressed. I thought you guys were gonna suck. In the garage, they did, they did terrible. They had like two. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna beat these guys. <laughs> okay, last one, last one. Okay. You gotta make me nervous. So you got the highest score. Great score. Oh. Oh. Alright, still 90 feet. Yep. Last try. Have a good start. Yes! Ah! <laughs> I'm still eating. Oh, oh right. dude, I was scared. <laughs> Alright. It's okay. I found an awesome pound. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to hold it till you're done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I have a dog. Norley's filming, so if it's all wobbly, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's Chubby's fault. Back my thing is that my hand up over there. <laughs> Sit, Chubby. Sit, Chubby. Oh, oh if I just made a China. <laughs> oh, dude. If I just put a Jamaican ball, I would have killed it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! Oh, dude! That was good. I figured it happened. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn! Well, that was after he's like, that's that's after. Oh, that's awesome. Steal one. Oh, yeah, that was after he's like, okay, okay. What is that, 13? The first one that was, uh, five. What is that, 13? Yeah. 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 Josh, thank you. Nice to meet you, my thank friend. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. I'll send you the link, okay? Come up anytime you want. Thank you so yeah. much. You got Invited. a membership. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Bye, Chubby. 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 Bye,
smack me right now if he sees this. <laughs> You gotta do like this, that's easier after a while. Yeah, it was, it's easy after a while, but it's getting your foot to get in there. <laughs> no, but when you start, if you start with the ball on the floor, you just do one, two, three. It's, I think it's easier than just throw it. I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> we are actually, right? He's European, we're still world champion, right, friends? <laughs> I think we are. Okay. Awesome. Champion, Thanks, Laura. That was fun.